4K versus UHD. What's the difference and how does it affect you when shopping for a new TV? When you're shopping for a new TV, it can be confusing due to all the BS that TV manufacturers are pushing in front of your face to make their brand or model of TV sound so much sexier than another's. But what does 4K or UHD mean? Is there a difference? And if 4K is four times 1080p, does that make it 4320p? The short answer to these questions are, it depends, and maybe a visual math lesson is in order. Resolution refers to the number of pixels that compose the picture on the TV. And pixels are the little squares of light that can change their color faster than Taylor Swift changes boyfriends. A pixel is a tiny dot of light on your TV screen. These are also known as a discrete picture element. You may be able to see these by looking very closely. You may also have to use a magnifying glass for higher resolution TVs. Although it's the most common specification used to sell TVs these days, partially because 8 million pixels sounds really sexy, resolution is not in fact the most important ingredient in picture quality, contrary to popular belief. I can also confirm that it's popular belief by the majority of comments made on my 4K versus 1080p video. Just because a TV says 4K Ultra HD doesn't mean it's better than a 1080p TV. It usually does, but not always. And for reasons that have little to do with resolution. You can check out my video on that here. That being said, it's still worth understanding the difference between the BS and the truth that TV marketers are using on you to get you to fork out the extra cash for the latest and greatest. Let's start with 4K. This is the current top of the market. So it's a good place to start. And it lets us talk about the marketing BS and the vast majority of confusion when it comes to resolution. The short version is that 4K and UHD are actually the same thing when it comes to TVs. Ultra HD Blu-ray and nearly all UHD streaming content from Netflix, Amazon, and others, this resolution is 3840 by 2160. The difference in the name is the BS that marketers are using to confuse you or to convince you to buy one product over another when they're actually the same thing. This is the sexy factor I've been talking about. And now I feel this is a great opportunity to delve a bit deeper and teach you about resolution by showing you this wonderful graph. When looking at this graph, you can see that 4K means something different when you're talking about projectors versus TVs. Typically, 4K means a resolution of 4096 pixels. This is the resolution set forth by the digital cinema initiatives. This is because movies vary in aspect ratios. Aspect ratio refers to the exact shape of the rectangle that makes up what you see on screen. If you see black strips on the top or bottom of your screen, that is a different aspect ratio than if your TV screen real estate was fully utilized by the content that you are viewing. So the long answer to our first question is yes, Ultra HD TVs are not technically 4K since their resolution is 3840 by 2160. This really doesn't matter though. 4K rolls off the tongue a heck of a lot better than 2160p or ultra high definition. People have run marketing surveys about this and guess what? Everyone just loves 4K better, even Google. But Amazon just uses both the 4K badge and the Ultra HD badge, you know, because they like their hipster flair. Since the pixel difference is 13% and it's nearly impossible to see even larger differences, we'll follow this under, why does anyone care? But people really do care, as I'm sure we'll see in the comments again. Good news though, Sony's 4K projectors are really 4K. 
something I'd love to see for myself. 8K follows the same logic, if you're talking about TVs that is. It's twice the horizontal and vertical of 4K at 7680 by 4320. I'm sure we're still far away from seeing this in the mainstream outside of major theaters and computer enthusiasts' homes. We now have a forum where we can discuss these topics in more detail. There's a link in the description directly to the post about this video if you'd like to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If not, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments on this video or any content suggestions for future videos. Maybe you have a dead game series you would like us to look into. Get subscribed if you're not already and get the bell on if you never want to miss an upload. We're now uploading a new video every Friday at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching. We and the rest of the community hope to see you next Friday.